We're writing history today. If we do it right, responsibly, and ethically, we have to create the foundation of AI appropriately. And, and during that time, you know, I I had this realization that I need to reach out to the organiz organizations or the women leaders to really come together to make sure that the women who have gotten there stay there and the women who are trying to get to the senior leadership role can get there so that we have equality and parity and equity. And listen, uh, Hunter, I have to say that women alone can't do this. They can't sit in a silo and create a you know fair world. So we do need male leaders like you and others who are our true allies. Uh, and I have to compliment you, Hunter, that you don't have to do this. At every conference, you make sure that the women panelists are there. You know, you you and Mark from your team have reached out to me several times saying, we don't want a panel which is full of men. So that's what we need. We need leadership with male allies and female leaders who are saying we want a parity, we want equity. We want to make sure that there are equal number of leaders with different voice, with different thought processes, people who can challenge each other and make this world a better place to live. And we as technologists have the power. That's right. And diversity is key, right? When you think of a call to action for our viewers here today, what's your one call uh, to action? What would you like people what would you like people to see and do? I would say one thing. Every day make sure that you bring diversity in thoughts in your teams in the data you're using and the algorithms you're building. Consciously think about diversity at every level of your technology platform from the people to thoughts to technology. And I think if every day we make a conscious effort to let the people who speak less, give them room to talk, focus on making sure it's okay to have a variety of thought process or challenges, we will make a better workplace, we'll make a better digital world, and we'll hopefully create a world which is less biased. I don't know if we can remove bias completely, but at least each one of our listeners is thinking about diversity as a good thing, as a power in the organization. Hopefully, we will build AI ethically and responsibly.